In this video, we are continuing our discussions on vitamins. Last time, we covered the functions and sources of vitamin A, B and C. Now we are diving into vitamins D, E and K. Let's get started. You really need strong bones for things like walking, sitting, running and even just standing around. And let's not forget about strong teeth. They are super important for chewing. So what helps keep our bones and teeth strong? You got it. It's vitamin D. Vitamin D helps us absorb calcium, which is crucial for strong bone and teeth. Calcium is a mineral about which we'll study later. And trust me, trying to chew with weak teeth is like trying to cut wood with a spoon. Just not going to work. Now, where do we get vitamin D from? A big source is the sun. But just to clarify, we are not getting vitamin D directly from the sun itself. When sunlight hits our skin, that's what helps our body make vitamin D. So unlike the vitamin you get straight from the milk, vitamin D comes from our skin when it soaks up the sun. Speaking of milk, it is another great source of vitamin D. Fish is also a major source and let's not forget eggs. They are packed with vitamin D too. You will notice that or you might have already noticed that eggs and milk keep popping up when we talk about vitamins. They are not just good for vitamin D. They are really important for our overall nutrition. They are going to keep popping up in sources of most of the nutrients that we are discussing here. Dealing with rough skin, red patches or just weak skin can be really irritating, right? So what do you think helps keep our skin smooth and healthy? It is none other than vitamin E. Vitamin E is fantastic for keeping our skin looking and feeling great. You will even find it in many skincare products as it helps moisturize and protect your skin. Now you might be wondering where we can get vitamin E from? Well, some of the best sources are almonds, sunflower seeds, spinach and olives. So if you want to boost your skin health, those are some of the tasty options that you have to include in your next meal. Hey, did you get a cut or fall off your bike? No worries. If you have vitamin K, your body can stop the bleeding by forming clots. So if you've got enough vitamin K, you don't need to stress too much about that wound. Just focus on taking care of the dressing. Vitamin K helps body stop bleeding by forming clots. But it's not just about not worrying, right? We also need to eat food rich in vitamin K to help our bodies heal or to help our body stop bleeding by forming clots. So what food are good sources of vitamin K? Well, spinach, meat and cabbage leaves are all packed with it. Vitamin K is super important because it helps your body stop bleeding whether it's a cut on your hand or something internal. So make sure to include those food in your diet from today onwards. Wow, we have covered quite a few vitamins in our recent videos. Let's do a quick recap of what we have discussed, including their functions and sources. We have talked about vitamin A, which keeps our eyes and skin healthy. And some major sources of vitamin A are papaya, carrots, milk and mangoes. Next up is vitamin B, which is great for keeping our hearts healthy and supporting all sorts of bodily functions. You can find vitamin B in foods like legumes, nuts, whole grain, seeds and various dairy products. Then there is vitamin C, which helps our bodies fight off diseases. Some of the best sources of vitamin C include amla, guava, green chilies, oranges and lemon. And in this video, we discussed vitamin D, which is essential for helping our bodies absorb calcium, which is again important for bone and teeth. 
we get vitamin D from sunlight exposure and it's also found in milk, fish and eggs. Vitamin E is fantastic for keeping our skin smooth and healthy. You find it in almonds, sunflower seed, spinach and olives. And lastly, we spoke about vitamin K, which are, helps our bodies stop bleeding by forming clots. Major source of vitamin K include spinach, cabbage leaves and meat. So there you have it, a quick summary of all the vitamins we have covered. Remember that statement I made in the last video about how our sun, yes, this big guy glowing in the sky, is the top chef of universe? Well, I hope you have figured out why I said that. If you are still unsure, just go back to our discussion on vitamin D and it will all make sense. Now here is a fun challenge for you. Next time you sit down for a meal, don't just focus on the food in front of you. Yeah, I know it's difficult. But try, grab a small notebook and pen too. Take some time to jot down what's on your plate and identify the vitamins in each food item. Think about how those vitamins are going to help your body function. It will turn your meal into a mini nutrition lesson.